Hey there guys, it's Michael, and today I got a different video for all of you. This is gonna be kinda of like a, a movie night vlog. Tonight's movie, I'm gonna be seeing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the final movie in the trilogy. I'll be seeing it in IMAX. I'm gonna be seeing it with my brother and my dad, potentially. So, I'm very excited for this one. Um, I mean, the Guardians of the Galaxy, I mean, I in a way I kind of grew up with these guys. Like I just remember being a young kid and watching the first movie in theaters back in 2014. And I've just loved these characters ever since. So with this being the final movie, it's gonna be very bittersweet. Been hearing a lot of great things about it. I've been avoiding spoilers, so I don't know anything about it yet. And I don't know, this is unrelated, but I'm wearing my Star Wars sweatshirt. It, as the recording of this video, it is May the 4th. Uh, May the 4th be with you. So. With that being said, let's go ahead to the movie theater. All right, I just got here at the movie theater to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, expectations, I think it's going to be a fulfilling conclusion to the trilogy. I love James Gunn and what he's done with these characters, and I'm just looking forward to seeing how he closes this chapter of the Guardians. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think of the movie right afterwards. So without any further ado, let's head into the movie theater. Into Guardians 3, we go. Into the forever. And beautiful sky. All right, I just got back from seeing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and first impressions right out the gate. I loved it. This was a magnificent conclusion to the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy and a nice send off to these characters. I mean, I remember watching the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie back in 2014 and just absolutely loving it. In a way, it's kind of like I grew up with these characters. I mean, with watching the first movie as a kid and then seeing them in Guardians 2 and then Infinity War, Endgame, and all their appearances in the MCU. So it just makes me really happy to say that Volume 3 was perfect with how they handle all the characters and the conclusions to all the storylines and everything. I just thought it was, I just thought it was incredible and it's probably the best MCU movie since No Way Home or Endgame. Um, if you know me, I've been I haven't really been all that impressed with Marvel as of recently, especially earlier this year with Quantumania and some of the other Phase 4 projects, but I'm just, I'm really happy to say that Volume 3 stuck the landing. If you love these characters and the first two movies, this is an absolute must-watch. Go see it as quick as you can and stay for the two post credit scenes. They're pretty, pretty important, sort of, but yeah, let me... The, the, it's not this is not really a full review this is just like first impressions i mean there's just there's just so much on my mind right now there there is one action sequence in here that is like top five superhero action sequences of all time like once you see it you'll know it's just man i i love this movie it was everything i wanted and more and like i said an absolute must watch i think dc is in great hands with james gunn and yeah, that's that's really all, all I gotta say right now until my full review, which will be out later this weekend. But all, all I have to say is that I am very, very happy right now. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this movie night vlog. Thought I'd do something a little different with a big summer release like this. I like to do more of these in the in the future, especially during the next couple months. It's, it's a big movie season for the summer, so. Anyways, really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all on the next one.